So we're underway here, game two, AFLW 2020. The nerves are starting to hit now, but really excited. Extremely proud that um, we get to be a part of um, Gold Coast first and national team, um, but also really excited that now we actually get to play. Action. <laughs> hey guys, first time travelling as a team. Um, we're really pumped for the game. Um, and here we are in the virtual land. Woo woo! Yeah, give up. Actually, it's <laughs> good. This one's yours, mate. That's what you said earlier. Spice dropping a sandwich on the floor. <laughs> How are you feeling about the first ever game as Gold Coast Sun? Yeah, it'll be good. I'm really excited. Um, keen to put everything that we've been learning in pre-season obviously into action on the on the on the, on the park. Uh, and really proud of the girls and every everything we've developed over the pre-season. So yeah, just ready for that first one to announce. Thanks for your time, Tiana. Yeah, g'day guys, we've just arrived at our Blacktown Oval. Um, as you can see, the sky's looking a little bit black itself with um, a bit of rain coming down. So we're just checking the deck out. Um, I've heard some little rumours that there's pretty good um, drainage at this field. So let's get into the captain's run and then um, hopefully the weather can sort itself out for tomorrow. We left the Gold Coast on some, in some rain and terrible weather and, and got landed in Sydney on some rain and not so much better weather and uh, we jumped on the bus and headed out to Blacktown and just arrived ready for our, first, for our final prep. <laughs> worked really hard to get to this point. We've got our opportunity, pretty exciting. We get to represent our new footy club and a little bit about how you feel about that. It's, it'd be good to share a little bit of that. Yeah, like I think this opportunity, um, it kind of like represents what all of us have kind of done to get to this point. So that's what it is to me, like not just, you know, training and all that, but kind of we've all come a really long way to actually be here and do this together, so. It's such an honour to be able to go on this journey with this group of people. There are some bloody good eggs in this bunch. All of you are sensational. So I'm just more excited to see what the girls can do tomorrow as a team, because I think we've gelled really well. And I think we're going to, um, I'm trying to think of an expression without swear words. Um, <laughs> You'll struggle. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to turn some heads this year, I think, Gold Coast. It's very exciting. We all spend a lot of time studying who we're not. And I guess why am I sitting here doing this right now? Let's talk about who we are, what we can do. Because I, I reckon it's time to flip from that phase of we need to learn, we need to learn, to I can do this, I got this, because I've, I've done it. We wanted to take some time out of this weekend and acknowledge um, what it means for the club, but also what it means to you as individuals. You've all had very different journeys to get here. You've all got a fantastic story to tell and you should be really proud of what you've done to make your way here tonight. Uh, yeah, thanks for, um, thanks for having me here tonight. Um, I think even just listening to you guys over the last sort of half an hour, I think you guys nailed it um, when you talk about what it means to, to represent the club. And um, I think just to play AFL is, is such a privilege and, and obviously to, to represent the Suns as well is such a privilege. And um, you guys, like everyone's been saying, you, you get the opportunity uh, tomorrow. And um, you know, I really, just feeling the energy in this in this room. I know you guys are a pretty close bunch, and um, yeah, it's really exciting. Like Mark said, to to see what you can accomplish, um, not just tomorrow, but um, yeah, you're on a journey, and uh, yeah. So thank you, and, and good luck. Now, from me, Dad, Jack, Mark, family, and friends, we are so proud. 
Enjoy every moment this journey takes you on, the highs and the lows. You made it. And the final word is from your dad. And what might that be? You know, you make, you make, you make your parents both very proud and what makes me even prouder is that you've remained to stay really humble through all this. So, just want to say get out there and rip it up, you know. Everyone, game day, woo! Oh, look at that hair. Yes. Yeah, g'day guys, we're just out here for our uh, game day activation walk. Obviously our first game um, is an away game. What does it mean to be wearing the Indigenous jersey to you? Yeah, it's um, an honour to be wearing it. I think it's very cool. I think all the girls really love it. Um, and yeah, just really proud to pop it on and represent our families in the Gold Coast Suns. And Lauren Bella, you got the first chance to make history. First ever touch of the footy um, for the Gold Coast Suns women's side. How's that feel? Let's hope I win it. I'm planning on so nice touching yeah. it very cleanly and hoping the other rock doesn't get to it. But yeah, I'm going to be the first one. You're going to be the first one. The first ever Molly, female. How are you yeah. yeah. You feeling good? Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> Get on the bus in four minutes and head to the ground and get it ready for round one. Everyone's buzzing, as you can tell. We've got Bruce here and his son, and everyone's just excited to get started. All the good things, as I say, they happen to be uncomfortable and there'll be plenty of it. The big things are, we chose you, we trust you, we respect you, most of all, we love you. Right? Go Suns! So we're underway here, game two, AFLW 2020. Toe pokes it forward. Perry takes off after it. Perry can pick it up, run into an open goal, and she can kick the first goal for the Gold Coast Suns. So a BioGlan replay. Thanks to BioGlan, Brittany Perry, the former Giant. She played four games for the Giants last year and gets the very first history-making goal for the Gold Coast Suns against her former side. I think they're a little bit surprised um, that we came up there so hard. We were really ripping into them. We weren't letting them have time with the ball. Um, and I thought we just played well as a team in the conditions that we had today. We can sort of get around each other. Um, you know, it's a pretty quick turnaround until next week, obviously against um, Richmond. So I think, yeah, we're going to try and be a bit cleaner, but that's going to come with the weather. Hopefully it'll be pretty dry at home. So, um, yeah, sticking to our structures and, and our own game players' sons and, you know, um, just backing the, the, once again the hard work we've done. And, yeah, hopefully it'll be a little bit nicer weather for us, really. <laughs> Be part of the first ever Suns AFL women's game at Metricon Stadium on Saturday, February 15.